Hi, this is a walkthrough of my portfolio. So I wanted to start with my candidate info. Um, you can read about my family and where I've been teaching. I have been a sixth grade teacher for the last 10 years in a middle school. Um, and so I've taught both math, reading, and then also um, English language arts. So my professional goals include um, initiating technology use and resources within my building. I want to be able to coach other teachers in technology use and programs that benefit their students, strengthen my expertise in technology and instruction by completing autism spectrum disorder certification, and then also develop and organize 21st century technology lessons for authentic learning. And then personally, um, some goals I want to work on are communicating with others that sometimes I just have to say no and that my family comes first. I need to be able to adapt to failure as a positive outcome um, for growth and my achievement. And then also just to motivate myself to be and give and pursue the best person I can be every day, not only with my family, but also with my students and colleagues. My long-term goals, um, I really like what I do in the classroom. I want to make sure that I am motivating students to learn and um, that every day is a new experience, not only for me, but for the students that come to my room. Since learning that my five-year-old daughter um, has autism, um, we first found out that she had autism when she was three or that she would be given the autism diagnosis. Um, I've been more focused on her capabilities, both in the educational setting and um, outside of school. And so I would really like to pursue um, education and autism spectrum disorders and become um, an autism coordinator or um, a teacher in my district. In five to ten years from now, I still see myself in the classroom, um, and I hope that we're still meeting in a building, but I know that not only will the students change, but so is the technology, and so it's just going to be the way that we learn and teach. Um, one of my biggest weaknesses um, has always been uh, being afraid to fail. And I feel like the MIT program has really pushed me to do my best work and to um, not be afraid of failure. And that's really helped me in the classroom too. Um, so this quote really sums up um, how I feel about failure at this point. So like success, failure is many things to many people. With positive mental attitude, failure is a learning experience, a rung on the ladder, a plateau at which to get your thoughts in order and prepare to try again. So that's really the attitude I'm taking about failure from this point forward. In my technology philosophy, the thing to me has been um, a quote by George Koryos that um, really sums up how I feel about technology and its presence um, in my classroom. And so I know that technology is a part of all my students' lives, whether they have devices and access to technology at home or not. Um, but George says that technology will not replace great teachers, but technology in the hands of great teachers can be transformational. And so um, I know that human interaction is still needed for students um, to make connections and share with others. Um, but I also understand that we are preparing students for 21st century jobs and um, they need those skills, so they need the technology. And so they're both important um, and they're intertwined to make the best kinds of classrooms. And that's really where I see my room. In my resume, which was fun to create since I haven't done one of those in a really long time, um, I am not planning to um, pursue a new position. I am planning to stay in the classroom. Um, so the most important piece here is just my objective and goal. Um, my goal is to be an educational facilitator who automates learning um, for students in a technology rich classroom. And that's really where I see um, my philosophy and um, objective meshing together. The professional development plan um, was one of the most tasks 
and the professional development plan that I created um, was for Google Classroom. Um, I'm in a middle school, six through eight, and so a lot of teachers already use Google Classroom, but a lot of teachers are um, not comfortable with it yet because they just haven't learned or had time to use it. And so um, I felt like focusing on Google Classroom and the pieces, um, components, and um, ideas that teachers could use it for would really unite my building better. And since we do have professional learning communities, that would be the best place to provide the training. And um, I have the activities spread out throughout the entire year once a month um, but I also have um, technology playground days um, and I got this from another classmate in um, this course uh, where teachers can have time to reflect and ask clarifying questions and so um, these mini sessions would have to be taught either through video um, because I couldn't be at every PLC or they'll have to be taught with um, mentors that are willing to use their time during PLC to help train um, colleagues. In the professional training videos I did, I chose to do one with teachers and colleagues um, through my math PLC and the other two are with students. Um, my favorite was the one with my colleagues. It was a little um, nerve wracking to be with the um, adults versus the students, but I thought it went really well. Um, I also chose to um, teach them how to create a video through Active Inspire, recording our notes, our math notes, and then posting them into Google Classroom. For the other two, I chose Recap in the Reading Classroom and then Plickers in the Math Classroom. For the presentation videos, um, a Google presentation uh, was the first one that um, I did with my um, coworkers, and so you saw that in the previous video. Then I also chose to do how to create a haiku deck, um, which is another way to present information. Um, and the last one was a Prezi presentation over um, Google Sites as a class website which I also find to be very valuable. In the articles that I chose, um, the one that stuck out the most to me, Digital Divide, Access to Technology. Um, this article focused on um, what would happen if every student had access to technology at home, and would they be just as successful as the other students who did have technology at home? And surprisingly, um, that it was not true in the study. Uh, they found that just because students had technology at home didn't mean that they used it for homework use or completing homework, um, that it really depended on their um, guardians and um, parental support in completing the homework. Otherwise, students tended would tend to um, play games or avoid the homework altogether once they had access to that technology. So that was kind of surprising for me, but um, reflecting on that makes me think about what I do assign for technology outside of the classroom, making sure that it's clear and concise and um, completely necessary if I'm asking students to do something with technology like an assignment outside of the class. In the extra resources, um, in the videos, I chose one about blended technology and classroom learning because I'm mostly interested in um, blended learning um, with technology in my classroom. I also chose um, one of George Corus's um, The Innovator's Mindset, um, which was also very intriguing. Um, so I enjoyed listening to that video. And the last one I picked was U-Cubed um, because I really enjoy Joe Bowler. Um, and then she teamed up with Alice Keeler who showed us how to um, really get students collaborating and thinking with Google Apps and math concepts. And then um, I also have three articles and three professional development um, plans that I can go back to. At the very bottom, though, I do have um, some of my favorite resources and projects I created. Um, 
This first one is posters on cyberbullying where I collaborated with another student. So in this example, some of them are marked as mine and some of them are marked as my classmates. Um, so we worked together to create those. A poster um, on FERPA, um, some uh, picture chart, um, Google Slides versus PowerPoint, and then also Google um, Draw. I made this poster on identifying math mistakes. And then the last one that's in here is my favorite. This is from Hypermedia, and it is a Google site where I was able to um, showcase everything I'd learned in the class, um, kind of like a portfolio. As far as reflecting on the um, ePortfolio, I found that they are a very positive thing. Um, it's a great way for students and professionals to group together and showcase things that um, are important to them or that they need to share with others. And um, I think it's a great way to quickly get your information to others. And um, I wish I'd known about them sooner. I would have been working on mine um, throughout the entire course or um, MIT program rather. Um, piecing together little things at a time. Um, but I also want students to use ePortfolios too to um, keep their positive work or things that they're most proud of so they can share later too. Um, as far as the evaluations, um, I really did enjoy getting to see another classmate's um, e-portfolio and that I also enjoyed getting feedback from um, both an outside and a classmate um, to review my portfolio. Um, I feel like the biggest thing I'm walking away with from getting to do a peer review is that it really helps me to reflect on my own work and um, that feeling of, ah, oh, why didn't I think of that? Um, so that you can borrow and change and um, add to your own portfolio things that you feel like could reflect you. Um, the more people giving you feedback, the more you're able to shape and sculpt the way you want it to reflect who you are. Um, and so getting to see someone else's was helpful, but so was the feedback. Um, that I got from both of these um, people. And when I got feedback from these people, it really showed me pieces that, that they picked that maybe I didn't see about myself um, when I was creating it, but it made me feel really proud about who I am and what I've accomplished. And so that um, was nice to hear from both of them too. So hopefully we'll get to talk about all this very soon.